Guys, I am feeling good and recharged. I just came back from vacation with my wife and we had an amazing time. We went to Glacier National Park, which if you are familiar with the national park system, the United States, it's perhaps one of the best things that US has to offer, uh, the national park system. And we basically went out there and enjoyed nature. We unplugged, we, we were mostly unplugged for approximately a week and let me tell you it was an amazing experience our forgettable unforgettable and more than that it was great for our mental health because we literally detached from all the craziness that is happening in the world at the moment today july 2020 all right so i'm here i'm recharged and ready to provide you with a lot more useful content and today i want to talk to you about why i left computer science, but most importantly, how I realized it was time to move on and it was time to change my majors. So the reason I wanted to make this video today is because I think that a lot of people go through this process. A lot of people at some point consider changing majors and perhaps they don't know when to actually do it. They don't know when to pull the trigger per se and actually change paths. Uh, a lot of people may not be uh, self-aware enough because it does take a lot of awareness to actually uh, recognize certain cues and certain things that the future may be telling you about the decisions that you are making at the moment, if that make, makes any sense to you. So, of course, the first thing I want to mention here is that this is going to be my experience. This is what I went through. Uh, these are not the only cues that you are going to experience because we're all different obviously but hopefully my experience helps you streamline the process of you choosing the the right major or stop pursuing something that it's just not for you and you know it all started <laughs> it all started to go sideways the minute i picked computer science and the reason i'm saying this is because the reason i picked computer science it's not because of what it was about or it's not because the chance of getting a high salary upon graduation it's not because of the prestige of computer scientists but believe it or not i picked computer science because it sounded cool so after so after i actually decided to go for computer science my first semester was just a nightmare and the reason i'm saying this is because I dreaded every single class. I always, I always seemed to be confused, you know, whenever the professor would introduce new concepts. Uh, I just didn't get it. And every time I think of that class, I start getting headaches and I start getting nightmares. And I started paying attention to these cues and how much I just didn't enjoy it. Not to mention that no matter how hard I worked, uh, I just simply didn't understand and just didn't get it you know and i started thinking okay maybe this is not for me long story short the first semester was a nightmare and i couldn't really wait to leave every single class uh and also you know i started thinking about the future when i was sitting in class i started thinking about the future and i was like man i'm a do i really see myself doing this forever do i really see myself sitting in front of a computer, growing a hunchback, debugging, writing code for at least, I don't know, a couple of years after graduation, you know, not to mention all through college, of course. And it just, it just didn't sit well with me. And I, and I didn't like the vision that I started having. And so that's when probably towards the end of the first semester of computer science, when I took computer science 101 per se, or 201, um, I started thinking, okay, maybe this is not for me. So I ended up getting a B in the class, long story short. And the second semester when I joined the class again, I was being a little stubborn. Maybe I didn't really, at that point, I hadn't really got the cues of whether or not I should quit computer science. But I showed up to my first class of the second semester. And at that point, I realized this is not for me. I remember the subject of the first class of computer science was arrays and if you are a computer science nerd or a savvy that may be really easy to understand for you but for me <laughs> someone that just does not think in terms of programming at least not in in an advanced manner it, oh at that point i realized you know what this whole thing is not for me and so after the very first class I wasted no time and decided to just quit computer science and change my major. So 
I ended up changing my major to mechanical engineering and I transferred to Virginia Tech eventually and I graduated in 2012. So what are the lessons that I want to take away from this video? So the first, the first part here is I'm going to give you some lessons to take away from this video and then I'm going to give you some cues to look for if you are trying to change your major. So the first part here is the lessons uh, from my story and from my experience is that number one is that programming was not a waste of time. Programming is extremely useful, especially me as a mechanical engineer, uh, certainly ran into my fair share of programming, of course, very, very basic, but going through that, to the, to that first semester of computer science and learning a little bit about Java and programming languages in general was very, very useful in my career. The second takeaway is that going from my first semester in computer science was not a complete waste of time and i'm saying this because it helped me be a little more self-aware it helped me realize what i was not into a lot of times when you don't know what you're into a good first step is to find out what you're not into what you don't like what you're not interested in and that is going to help you kind of clear the path and going to help you find out or figure out what you really like and your interest the third lesson that I want to mention here is that I was, this is not kind of a lesson, but I was, I want to mention that I was a little fortunate, fortunate because when I switched majors to mechanical engineering, a lot of the core classes like math and economics and all the stuff transfer from computer science to engineering, mechanical engineering. And so I didn't really have to take a lot of uh, extra classes to catch up with another major. Uh, keep in mind that this was, this was my second year in college. So a lot of the classes from in different majors overlap for the first couple of years. The fourth lesson here is that I definitely learned something that set me up for life, you know, because again, programming is a very useful technique. It's a very useful skill to have. And although I am not, I am not by any means an advanced programmer, it definitely helped me get a grasp and a high level understanding of how programmers think and work. And that in and of itself has allowed me to understand a little bit more about web website development. If I ever need to build a website, I know how to go into the code and edit it. Of course, not in an, not an, not in an advanced manner, but at least I can do a lot of the work when it comes to website development on my own or any or anything else that requires a little bit of programming. The fifth lesson is that I took responsibility for my decision of going for computer science. I didn't really sit back and complain about why I wasn't good at computer science. And I didn't really, I wasn't trying to change computer science as a major itself, but I took responsibility and I realized my weaknesses and I realized my strengths. And I decided, you know what? Computer science is not for me. So I decided to give up on it and quit. But just keep in mind that just because I, just because I gave up on it or or I quit computer science doesn't mean, doesn't mean, or it didn't mean that I quit on having an education, you know, because my goal of going to college was to get an education and learn marketable skills that, that could help me make a living. And just because I quit computer science doesn't mean that I didn't achieve anything else because I switched my path to mechanical engineering and I actually ended up succeeding and reaching the goal that I set out to do originally when I applied to college. So I just wanted to point that out here. And the last lesson that I want to give you here is that of course, to not major in something just because it sounds cool, major in something because it aligns with your interests, it aligns with your strengths, your weaknesses, or I guess you could also major in something just because it really gives you money or it's going to allow you, or it's going to give you the marketable skills that you need later on in order to make a living, comfortable living. So whatever it is, it is your choice. And of course, it's going to be your decision. So, okay. So now that we're done with the lessons, I want to also provide you in this video. I know it's going to be a little long, but it's going to be useful to you, or at least I hope it is useful to you. So now there's a couple of cues that I want you to pay attention to when you are going through the process of figuring things out and deciding whether or not a certain major is for you. Of course, this is from my experience with computer science, but I think it can also be useful to other people that are going through the same situation, but are not just dealing with engineering or perhaps other majors. So the first thing that I want to mention here is it's, it's perhaps the biggest one is 
do you work hard to understand the concepts and you just have no interest in it? Uh, you just don't seem to understand anything from a certain class or you just dislike the material, you have no interest, you have no passion and it's really you're just making yourself learn the concepts. Uh, to me, that's a pretty good cue that whatever you're studying may not be for you. Another cue that I want you to look for is like ask yourself, do you see yourself doing that in the future? Do you see yourself practicing or applying the concepts that you're learning? Uh, in my example, uh, when I was studying computer science, of course, I did not see myself coding and debugging and growing a hunchback. <laughs> Again, this, I have nothing against computer scientists. I have nothing against programmers. I think it's a very commendable career, commendable profession, but <laughs> I just did not see myself doing that. Instead, I now program with Excel, which is much easier, and I don't spend as much time growing a hunchback, figuring things out. <laughs> The third cue that I want to mention here is that whatever the material it is that you're studying, it just doesn't really fulfill you. You just don't feel it. Do you feel anxious? Do you feel frustrated with the material? Do you feel stressed out, clueless? Uh, and do you even care about it? You know, because it, can, it, it gets to a time when you just really don't care. And of course, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna make a disclaimer here because I'm not saying that. You should, you, should, you should switch your major just because it gets hard. That's not what I'm saying. But if you just, if it gets, if it's always difficult, if it's a grind, if you have no interest in it, if you have no passion, you don't see yourself doing or applying the concepts that you're learning in the future. That, I mean, to me, that's a pretty good, those are all pretty good cues. And the future is telling you, or the world life is telling you, yo, this is not for you. This may, th so perhaps it's time to take another path or consider another path. So those are all the lessons and all the cues that I wanted to share with you in this video. So just remember that if you are someone who's debating on whether or not you should switch majors, remember to pay attention to the cues that I mentioned earlier, pay attention to your behavior, uh, whether or not you see yourself or you visualize yourself doing or applying the concepts that you're learning in the future. Uh, be honest with yourself and of course, be a little self-aware on when it comes to your strengths, your weaknesses and the paths or careers or professions or majors that you want to take going forward. Okay, so with all that being said, guys, I hope this video was useful. If it was, please give it a thumbs up consider subscribing to the channel if you enjoy the content and with all that being said i'll see you guys on the next one peace